1786. The Revolutionary War had been over for five years. However, the new nation of the United States of America was adrift, and it was headed down the path of becoming one more corrupt and unjust government. Shea's rebellion proved to be the wake-up call. I hold it that a little rebellion now and then is a good thing. It is the medicine necessary for the sound health of government. God forbid that we should ever be 20 years without such a rebellion. Thomas Jefferson, January 30th, 1787. When Thomas Jefferson wrote those words, he referred to an uprising of Western Massachusetts farmers in the fall of 1786 led by a former Continental Army Captain, Daniel Shays. These angry farmers took control of the Springfield, Massachusetts County Courthouse from September 25th through the 28th. More hostilities followed. The problem was that politicians in Boston were behaving much like their former and British the masters, imposing unfair property and polling taxes, perverting the legal system, and capitalizing on an unstable currency. The result was that heroes who fought for independence were losing their farms and being thrown into debtor prison. The new country was at a critical moment in history. Would it go down the path of one more corrupt and malevolent government, or would something new and grand emerge? No morning ever dawned more favorable than ours did, and no day was ever more clouded than the present. Wisdom and good examples are necessary at this time to rescue the political machine from the impending storm. Eventually, Massachusetts militia put down Shays' rebellion. Shays and most of his men received amnesty, but no event better dramatized the need for a strong national government to ensure justice and domestic tranquility, the need for a new U.S. Constitution, and the need to spell out the rights of every citizen to protect those rights always. In the summer of 1787, that new government would take form. 